Hello friends, this video on application of integrals part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. In this question, we defined the area bounded by triangles, what is our these mentioned below. So we have, uh, we can draw this triangles with this vertices. I have this vertices minus 1 comma 0. This is 1 comma 3 and this is 3 comma 2. Correct. So I have this vertices and I can draw the triangles. Now to find this area, area of the triangle, how to find it? What we can do is if you see, if you integrate this guy with respect to x, you will get this big triangle, this one. If you integrate this curve with respect to you will get this big triangle. If you integrate this guy with respect to you will get this triangle. So let's first draw these lines here. Let's draw these lines here. And keep some point. For example, let point this be A, B, C, B triangle, let's suppose. And D, E, F, B, these points. Correct. Now, I am asked to find area of A, B, C. So, if you observe carefully, area of A, B, C is nothing but if you take this area A, C, D, area of A, C, D plus this area C, B, D, E, area of C, B, D, E, from this you subtract area of A, B, E, area of A, B, E triangle, you will get the area looking for. Why? Because area of A, C, D this plus area of this, you get the whole area. And from this you are subtracting this area. Why I am doing this is because finding area of A, C, D is I know very simple. I have this equation of a curve, I can integrate from dx. Finding equation of area of C, D, B is of simple. I know the equation of the curve, I can integrate with respect to x. I will get this area. Finding this area of simple, right? I know the equation of this line, which I will find naturally, and I can integrate to get this area. So, to do this, what I need is, I need d point first. So, d point is 1 comma 0, correct? and b point is 3 comma 0. So I know how x varies from minus 1 to 1 and 1 to 3 and in this case a to b that is 1 minus 1 to 3. I know all these things now. The only thing I don't know is the equation of the line because the equation of the line is magnetic. The curves of the line is magnetic, right? Or I can write this guy as nothing but if you see integration of y for a c d I say y a c because I am talking about the line a c right y a c d x and x varies from minus 1 to 1 plus c b d e that is integration of y c b for b c line b c dot d x and this varies from 1 to 3 1 to 3 minus again y this is a b y a b dot d x and this is varying from minus 1 to 3 because this will be see from minus 1 to 3 minus 3. So this will be my answer actually. I have to find the equation of first line A, B, C, A, C, B, C and A, B. So these three things I have to find. And I have to put those things and get the answer. So let's find the value of equation of line A, B. EQ of line A, B will be Y minus I have point AB is uh, this guy, right? So I can take this point y minus 0 by x minus minus 1, this is x plus 1 is equal to y2 minus y1, that is, you can take this guy, uh, AB I am trying to find. This 2 minus 0, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is 3 minus minus 1 that is 3 plus 1. Correct. So you get y is nothing but 2 by 4 that is 1 by 2 into x plus 1. This is my equation of AB. 
Correct. Now I have to find the equation of let's suppose the second line is AC. Equation of AC. I'll take two points zero and one y minus y one by x minus minus x plus one is equal to in this case will be three minus zero by one minus minus one. This one plus one. Correct. So I get y is equal to three by two dx plus one. Let's find for the other line BC. Equation of BC. So let's take this point one and three. Become y minus three by x minus one is equal to three minus two y two minus y one by x two minus one minus one by one minus three. And there is minus one by two. So you get y is nothing but Minus one by two into x minus one plus three. So if you solve this, this is nothing but one by two into x plus seven. So minus x plus seven plus one by two into minus x plus. Or if you take minus one by two, it becomes. Let me solve this for you. This is nothing but minus x by two. Plus x by two, plus one by two, plus three. Correct. So this is nothing but minus x by two plus seven by two. So if you take one by two common, so if you take minus one by two common, that is x minus seven. So I got equations of AB, that is y AB, y AC, and y BC. Correct. Y A B, Y B C, Y everything I have now. I have to just solve this. So let's use the other page. So my area was nothing but if you see my integration of Y A C plus Y B C. Minus y a b. Correct. So if you see y a c plus b c minus a b. A c plus b c minus a b. A c is minus one to one, one to three. So let's put this minus one to one. This guy is one to three, and this guy is minus one to three. Minus one, two, three. Correct. Now let's put the value of this. So y a c came out to be this guy, three by two x plus one. So let's put the value here. Three by two x plus one dx minus one two one plus y b c. What is y b c? Y b c came out to be this one, right? Minus one by two x minus seven dx minus one by two x minus seven dx one two three minus minus one two three y a b what is y a b one by four x plus one this is one by four x plus one dx so let's solve this so this becomes if you see three by two x square by two plus x And this is from minus one to plus one, plus they got minus actually minus one by two. You take the absolute value of all this actually, so this becomes you no know, plus absolute value of minus one by two into x square by two minus seven x one two three, right? Minus here also absolute value minus absolute value of One by four comma is equals x squared by two plus two x, and this is minus one two three. Correct. This guy is minus one two one. This guy is one two three, and this guy is minus one two three. So if you solve this, this guy is nothing but three by two into. If you take one, one becomes one by two plus one minus becomes again one by two minus minus one. That is plus one. Correct. This cancels, so you get three by two 
into 2 that is 3. Here what you get is minus 1 by 2 into x square by 2 that is 3 square by 2 that is 9 by 2 minus 7 into 3 21 minus 1 by 2 minus 7 correct and here you get what is 1 by 4 common you get 3 3 becomes 9 by 2 plus 3 into 2 is 6 minus you get minus 1 square is 1 by 2 minus So if you solve this guy, this guy is nothing but 3 by 2 minus 21, 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is again uh, 2 by 2 is 1, 1 minus 21 and is minus 20 plus 7, this guy is x square by 2, so 3 square is 9 by 2 here actually. So if you solve this, this is 9 by 2, if you see actually it's nothing but minus 1 by 2 into 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 4, 8 by 2 is 4, 4 plus 7 is 11, 11 minus 21 is minus 10, so into minus 10 and this becomes 1 by 4 into this is 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 8 by 2 it is 4, 4 plus 6 is 10, 10 10 plus in the mistake here 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 so this becomes 1 by 2 here this is 1 by 2 this is 1 by 2 so this becomes if you see 1 by 2 into 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 8 by 2 is 4 4 plus 6 is 10 10 minus 2 is 8 correct so what I get here is 3 plus 5 minus 4 that is 8 minus 4, that is 4, and that is my answer. So, what I have done here is nothing great. I knew the area of this triangle will be area of this big thing minus area of this guy. I found the area of this by breaking this into two parts area of this part by integrating this equation with respect to x, area of this part by integrating this equation with respect to s, and then area of this part by integrating this equation with respect to x. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.